How's it going guys and uh, welcome back for a new video. Today's video we're going to um, build this kind of IT, Efficiency Fusion. Um, it's going to be my way of Efficiency Fusion as you can see right here. Um, so if you're looking for how to do it differently, it's not this video. This right here is my version of it where everything looks kind of normal. So we can uh, split this up in, in three or uh, four subjects. We can go ahead and we can take out the power. This includes the power booster and the realigner. Then we have the slap bus, which is also the slap bus pistons. The slap bus piston is what holds up the slap bus you see right here. On top of that, after slap bus, we have a hammer, and that also includes this hammer booster and the scatter. And then finally, we have a sack oppression. The times for all of these different subjects is going to be down in the description, but let's go ahead and jump straight into it. The first thing is the power. Now, there's different ways you can do the power booster, but I'm simply going to use my method right here. You can go ahead and you can follow along if that's what you wanted to do. This right here is just a more compressed version of the one I normally use, which is, of course, um, this one right here. So this right here can boost 18 blocks. We don't really need that. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly make it so you guys have an understanding of what this is as well. So as you can see, this right here is the one uh, I used many times and this one here is the one I'm using now. So you can go ahead and you can, you can choose whatever booster you want. I'm just going to choose this one right here because this is the one I like. So we need a one block difference and we need 13 power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the why I'm doing 13 right here is because uh, if we do 13 we're going to end on a block and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So we're going to uh, start with a block and we're also going to end on a block. As you can see right there. Perfect. So the why I'm doing this is because it's going to be a little bit easier and looks look a little bit better whenever you wire it up. Um, so what I'm, I'm going to show you that in a second right here. But first of all, we need to make our hammer perfect. So let's go ahead and quickly stack this one up right here. Um, I'm going to stack this 11 up. So this right here is 11 high now. So let's go ahead and wire this up. I like, personally, I like to use glowstone because it is way easier to actually print in. Um, whenever you do this, then you'll be able to print it in very fast. Um, if you use slap, it's sometimes the slaps stick together when you print that in with schematic. Um, they kind of stick and it gets annoying. So I like to use glowstone. You can use whatever you wanted to do. Um, I'm just going to use this for now. I'm going to use welded as well. So if I am going a little bit too fast, you can go ahead and feel free to pause this video right here. Um, but I simply don't have enough time to sit here and, and do all of this. It's going to be a very long video. So I'm just going to use welded as much as I can. So you can go ahead and you can pause it. Now this right here is done. Now we can work on the difference. So first of all, we want a one bug different right here. And we want that to be like that. Also over here, we need that one block difference. And then we can start wire everything up here in a second. There we go. Perfect. Then, because I want to uh, start on a block and end on a block, is because we can do this right here. Look how smooth that is. Um, as you can see, it looks perfectly. There we go. And also the realignment. We're going to make that... We're going to skip that one block and make it right there. I'm going to show you why we're going to do that in a second as well. But for now, just trust me. And then we can have glass going up. Or oh, maybe not that far, but a little bit up. And then of course, because we end on the block, we can simply do it like that. Perfect. Now, the timing for this one right here, as you can see, there's a two tick difference. This one here is a four. This one here is on one. So we could add two ticks to this one and it would be the same. But we need those two tick difference because one of them is for the hammer and the scat scatter and the red sand. And one of them is for the slap bus and sand. If you don't really know what efficiency fusion is, I made a video on explaining what it is. And you can go ahead and check that out first. But let's go ahead and quickly wire this up right here. There we go. Perfect. And now the subject. Um, around this power right here is over and let's go ahead and jump straight into the slap bust. Before we can do the slap bust, we need to determine exactly where our uh, power is going to be. So that's going to be right there, meaning our power is going to land right here. Perfect. Now that we know that it's going to land right there, then we can start doing our pistons. So we need one for the hammer down and we need one for the red sand right here. Now that we got that, then we can see, okay, we want two blocks right here where the sand is going to smooth in. So it's going to come from over here. We're going to have two blocks right here. Um, so we know the top of the barrel is going to be this block here right now. 
so that's perfect. Then we can put up the put up the. Uh, I, I'm actually just going to put it up like that, um, and we can do something like this for now, just to kind of show you. Now that we have that, we can also determine exactly where our slap bus is going to be, because we want that to fall directly on top of this trapdoor right here. So we're going to have it come from right here. So let's make a piston lock right here, uh, like that, and then use redstone torches. And the timings doesn't really matter, just have two full repeaters, that's fine, uh, like this. So we've got a close and unlock system now. Now that we got that, uh, actually we can make this right here glass a little bit further up. There we go, something like that. Then we can figure out where exactly we are going to have. As of we know right now, we know that the top of the barrel is going to be right here, uh, so it's going to shoot out like that. So what we can do is that we can make one big difference, and then we can start with our um, slap bust. But before we do that, go ahead and go up and take a look. You see how there's two blocks right here. If we move this right here, because uh, then we can have our slap bust instead of going right here. Then we can have it like this. So if you see how we did this right here, you'll see that now we, now that we did it like this, we can go ahead and we can close this section off right here and say, okay, this right here is our slap post. Perfect. Now we know that this right here is our slap post, then we can start doing other things. Now we can start um, to figure out exactly where our hammer is going to be and stuff like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish off the slap post first. We need to wire this up. We can't put a block right here because then it's going to turn in by the redstone um, torch, so one block above. And then we can wire it up like this, so as you can see right here. Then we can work it out perfectly like uh, that. And that is pretty much the slap bust. Now let's go ahead and jump straight into the hammer. Going into the hammer, we first need to determine how long it's going to be. I'm going to make mine 13 blocks long. Um, not really sure why I did that, it's just a random number. I picked. Um, also, I would like our hammer to be, since we don't need a barrel, we can put the hammer, oops, sorry, we can put the hammer right here, so you'll literally be able to see the bottom uh, of the hammer inside your barrel. Uh, not really a problem. So, first of all, let's go ahead and take 13 long right here, perfect. That's 13 long. So, that we have to end off right here. Also on the other side, we can go ahead and we can put one down right here, and then it's going to be a little bit easier for us to do this part right here. There we go. Now that we've done that, we also need to make sure we can wire this bad boy up. So we need a little bit blocks right here and there, right here, and also over here, we need to block right here. Oops. And then we can go ahead and we can move this glass right here and make that. There you go. So let's go ahead and wire this up right here. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and wire this up real quick. There we go. Perfect. Now the booster for our hammer is going to be very simple. Uh, it's going, of course, it's going to be a 3x booster. Uh, but I'm just going to make mine a simple booster. You can go ahead and you can you can figure out what you want to do with your booster. But for now, for now, I'm just going to do my. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, we can just do this, this easy one right here. We also need to uh, troubleshoot it to make sure it works. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly do that. Uh, we need to do something like that. That works. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Uh, let's TNT fill it. Oops. Okay, so we need everything to go to this block right here. So let's make sure it does that. Okay, yeah, it worked out perfectly. So now that we got all these parts right here, let's go ahead and start and, and block them in, because it's, it's going to be a little bit too difficult to figure out. So we can go ahead and we can turn this one right here, or you can make an obsidian breaker right there. I'm pretty sure I showed you how to do that. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and stack this one up. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and wire this up real quick. There we are. Quickly wire this up right here. I'm just going to copy this on the other side. So again, if I'm going too fast, you can go ahead and you can pause this video here, and we will meet you guys on the other side. Uh, stack one up. There we go. Perfect. Quickly copy this right here. 
And because we start on the full block and end of a full block, we can just rotate it like this. There we go. Now that we got that under control, then we can start doing our glass right here, as well as taking this one out right here, because we don't need that. Uh, this right here is going to be the top. So let's go ahead and quickly make glass or oops, glass all the way, because we also know where our end of this right here is going to be. So because of that, we can start terraforming, or we can start forming our barrel right here. So we're going to make something that looks like this. Yeah, that works fine. And then we can go ahead up. And then we can make this right here glass. There we go. Not too shabby. I do want to get this on like that. All right. That looks good. Let's go ahead and do the same on this side right here. We're not, we're not going to focus too much on the scatter right now. We're just simply going to put this glass. There we go. Oh, maybe just put up like that. All right, great. Um, final test. Want to make sure this works. Okay, it did. Okay, great. So now that we got that, we can start wiring up. So let's go ahead and take out. Actually, no, because we need this one. We know this one here is going to be this high, so we can only do it like this. You want to get the repeater as close to the power as possible, and then the furthest away from, or the closest to the hammer, so like this. This side right here. It's going on a full repeat. I'm going to show you that in a second why. Now, going over to this one right here, we can go ahead and we can put this right here, actually. There we go. The one closest to the power hammer as possible, the one closest to the power. Here we are. Perfect. We can't do that, so we're just going to simply do it like that. This one here is the side that you can determine how many ticks your hammer should be on, because this right here is the hammer side of the power. We're putting three ticks right here, meaning we need to add X2 right here. So this right here, three, and then add two. There we go. So now that's the timing for the hammer. And also, we need to quickly do this right here. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and we can glass this off right here. The way you want, why you want to glass it off is because if you don't have enough TNT somewhere in your cannon or whatever, then it's not just going to fly up and then just simply destroy everything. Uh, so that's why we're putting glass everywhere, like that. Now that we got that, we're pretty much done with the hammer and the slap post as well. So we can go ahead and we can go over to the more uh, wiring part right here. So to wire this cannon up right here, it's very easy. First of all, we need to wire this piston right here. Very simple, one repeater right there. Then we can use our glowstone right here to take the top one right here. Shouldn't be a problem. 10 full repeaters. Wait, this on a full tick and then 10 full repeaters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Add that. All this in full ticks. There you go. Perfect. Then we can start wiring up our slap bus, which is going right there. Perfect. And then we can start doing our testing. Now, this right here also determines if this cannon here is actually working now. So, to make sure this works, we're gonna do a troubleshoot. I always do on all my cannons. I kind of um, shoot it as it is right now. I know this right here is not gonna work because we do need to do some modifications. I just don't want to spoil anything. I want to kind of let you guys actually see it for yourself so you, you have a feeling of exactly what's going on. So, I fight the cannon and you'll see that the hammer as you see, that, that didn't really work. It, it went this way right here. Okay, so to stop it from going that way, we can do something like this. So now it stopped it from going this way. But if we do it like that, I don't know if you can see it, but if you saw it, you'll see that no, like it's no longer go this way right here, but instead it's going up right here and slides out and then fires out somewhere. So to stop that, we're gonna need a trap door right there. We still want it to have a block right here so the red sand can come in, uh, but the, the hammer is going to be right here and then it's going to fall down again and then we can just push it out. So it's not really going to be a problem. Now that we got that, it's time to see if we can make this bad boy slap bust. Um, shouldn't be a problem, but let's go ahead and make sure that we can make it slap bust. Because that is also a part of this troubleshooting is to make sure that we can make it make it slap bust, because if it makes it slap bust, then it certainly also can stack. Okay, perfectly. 
slap busted. So now the cannon itself is pretty much done. We can't really do much more to this cannon here. Um, it looks pretty well. What we can do though is we can prepare for the sand compression, but I'm going to do that in a second. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the sand compression. So let's go ahead and make a sand compression. Um, you can determine if you want a dual sand compression or a single sand compression. I do see people want dual sand compression, so let's go ahead and make a dual sand compression. This right here is pretty much a dual sand compression that we have in the middle right here. Now we also have to be aware of the height of this right here, the height of the, the cannon itself. So in that case, let's go ahead and take out the measurement, fly under it right here. And then we can see, okay, the height of this right here is the height of it. So we need a space right here for sure, so we can get the ladders. We also need a uh, middle wall right here, so we can determine uh, which sand compression is what sand compression right there. Then let's go ahead and make this eight long. Um, if you want to make it eight long, we need some we need some boosters right here to help us fire all the sand out to that way. We can do that like this, and then you can put a block right here. Because this cannon here has the sand all the way up here, normal cannons don't have that, but we can have the sand all the way here. We can just make it four. Uh, so it's kind of high right here, so we can use that as a as an advantage over here, because now, because it's so high, we can put ladders right here, which is perfect. Other than that, let's go to make it eight long. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, of course, a block, because this right here is eight now. Let's go ahead and build that up. Perfect. Build that up. There we go. Perfect. And let's go ahead and put ladders. Oh, it did ladders. Okay. We also need to do trap doors right here. Perfect. And then we can use this right here as glass. We can put this glass as high as one, actually. Here we are. Perfect. Great. Perfect. Yawn. Then we can use our obsidian right here. But before that, we need to make sure there's two blocks. So let's go ahead and quickly make the pistons right here, just so we can get determined on, on that as well. So actually, we need to move this one up, because we had to need to add the couple of first. So this right here is where the sand is going to fall. Then behind that, we're going to need this right here. We need to make this three right right here, because we do need to make the pistons. Um, we can remove these blocks after, or at least two of them. This right here is just so we can place the pistons. Stick a piston at the back, right here, and then we can do our normal pistons right here. Oops. There we go. The same on the other side. This right here is ident identical to the other side, so there we go. Now we need to raise this by one. I can see that right now, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we can do our pistons. Um, oops. We can do our piston that holds up the sand right here. There we go. That will, that will hold up the sand. So let's go ahead and quickly redstone that up. There we go. Perfect. Now, to make this perfect, we want to have two of these distances like that. Uh, because then it's never going to get in contact with what we're doing right here. So we're going to need a uh, redstone right here. As you can see right here, to, to make the one uh, them push out with one tick difference. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. There we go. And then we can block this one off like that. We can also remove these two parts down here. All right, do the same thing on the other side. Let's go ahead and put out our obsidian like this. We can go ahead and put the redstone, there we go. We can go ahead and put up the connection between these two right here. There we go, and we can close this part off right here, as well as taking these off right here. There we go. So now they're identical to each other. Now these two blocks right here, two block difference, we're making that because if we didn't do that, then the um, the pistons, oh, sorry, the, the dispenser we're making now would be too close to that one, and we don't want that. So Let's go ahead and make it up like this right here. You can go ahead and build all the way up here actually. There we go. Perfect. Oops. Perfect. Put a glass right there and then we can go ahead and we can put glass all the way up. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and wire this part up. It's very, very simple to wire up. What we start with, we're going to start with what we know. 
we know that this right here goes up with glowstone and all that. So we can quickly do those. Those are the easy parts. So let's go ahead and get the easy out of it, the easy parts out of it first. And then let's go ahead and use some glowstone to wire it up perfectly. We also need these two here to connect. It's very simple to make these two connect. We can just put a redstone right there. You can put a redstone like that. Uh, it's really up to you. But this is pretty much that part. Then over here we have the same pistons. Uh, oh, sorry, the same uh, dispensers. So we can go ahead and we can turn this into what we used to. Here we are. Quickly wire this up right here. Oops, accidentally put a tick on that one. And then the glowstone. Easy. There we go. Perfect. Now we got this wired out. Uh, oh, actually we can put a block right there. So it looks good. And it's the same over here. There you go. So now that we wired that up, now it's pretty much very simple. And I'm going to show you. Right here, we can have nine repeaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A block. And then we can just do the, the torch thing all the way up. Like that. And then we need this one here on two ticks and the rest on four ticks, three ticks. There you go. The same on the other side. The exact same. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And go ahead and put these up right here. There you go. Two ticks and the rest on four. There you go. Now we need to wire these pistons up right here. So we can do that by doing that. And make it go into there. This one here can be follow and put two ticks on this one. Like that. Then we can do the exact same on the other side. There you go. Perfect. Now that we got that, we are pretty much done. So let's go ahead and TNT fill it. We're also going to need some testing sand right here. I'm just going to build two right here. So if you have two shots right here, of course we are going to uh, fill it up with sand whenever we get to the cannon. But for now, let's go ahead and just use it this way. Also, you can raise this one. If you don't like the look of this one, you can just raise everything right here by one. As you can see right now, it's going to look a little bit better. So you can do something like that. Inside the cannon, you can actually get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. And then you can put your ladders up right here. Perfect. And the ladders this side. Perfect. TNT fill. And now we can go ahead and we can test this cannon out. Let's get a button and we also need to stop the sand somewhere. So let's stop it right there. Go ahead and press the button. Now we should see everything should be working. Or else we'll just quickly figure out. Okay, great. It worked first time. Yes, it worked first time. Alright, so now that we have the sand compression working, let's go ahead and put it up on the cannon. So I'm going to quickly use wall right here to quickly determine where the end of this is. That's perfect. And over here is the same thing. There we go. And we can go one. Nope, we can't. That's right there. Perfect. So let's go ahead and take this. And we also need to copy it right here. So with the end of everything, we can copy it. Now we've got it copied. Let's go ahead and make some more space over here. Um, we can't actually get this any closer, so we're just gonna leave it as it is right now. I'm pretty sure. Um, aren't we gonna? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, so we need the hole to be right here. We can't have it this close because then it's gonna get in contact with that. So move one back, and we can go ahead and paste this in right here. Then we can go ahead and connect these two, and we can also connect this one right here. We can also connect this one right here. Besides uh, that one right there, uh, because we can use this one to get the redstone like that. That's why we made the two difference. I didn't really tell you that. That was kind of stupid. Anyways, now that we got this, it's time to wire this one up here. So this right here was a button. We're just simply going to put a repeater, a repeater again, and like that. Oh, we don't even need a repeater right there, so we can just do it like this. So we need a button. We need a place to all this actually would it be smart to no be good so let's go ahead and put up right here TNT fill it so now it's time to do the last part which is this part over here so first of all let's go ahead and make this a little bit more flat so we can work there you go we can grab a redstone right here and then we can put our timer right here we can redstone that up and we can put on on a full tick like that. 
So let's go ahead and quickly put this up with sand so we can use it and we can test it. So the timings on the sand compared to right now should actually match up with the first with the first power. So we shouldn't need to do any thing at all. Let's just make sure that we do have a block down. Okay. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Okay. Let's go ahead and fire this cannon out. Let's before we do anything, let's TNT fill it. Um, we don't need all this timing right here. We can do one on a full tick, and we can do one on zero ticks. That should be fine. And this one over here is fine as well. I guess we could have given this one more tick, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just, just test it, see what happens. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's stacked perfectly. But before we can know what exactly this one stacks, we need to count the hammer as well as count everything else. So count this right here. Count dispenser. 132 blocks. Perfect. Let's go ahead and count how much sand we have as well. We can do that by a simple move like that. Perfect. Let's go ahead and count. 128. Perfectly fine. So, in theory, we should be able to stack it all the way up. So let's go ahead and remove this down here, so we can get us fully stack up. There we are. So, let's go ahead and press the button, and let's see if it stacks fully up. That's all we need to know. Okay, so it didn't stack fully up. It left a little bit of sand down there. Uh, let's see how much sand there is. Okay, so there's almost no sand. So if we shoot again with the, the slap post off, we should be able to see if it's going to fully stack up if we just add a little bit more hammer. So let's go ahead and shoot again. Um, if it fully stacks up now, then we know we need a little bit more hammer. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we can determine that we're going to need a little bit more hammer. This is not a problem since we have plenty of space to make more hammer. So let's go ahead and quickly set air so we're ready for the next shot. And then let's just go ahead and add a little bit more hammer. Uh, we can do that by simply stacking one up. And wire this up like that. So we're making a 120 stacker right now. Um, but uh, of course you could just make your hammer longer. You can make your sand compression longer. You can make a, a 240 if you wanted to. Uh, but this right here is just a little, little tutorial. So we're not going to go too much into details. Uh, so we're just going to kind of yellow it and see what we get. Let's go ahead and build this one up right here, actually. Uh, we can take this one down. There you go. Or maybe, yeah, fine. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have a little bit more hammer, let's see if we can stack it fully up now. Um, we do have wet sand. Yep, we do. Perfect. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. There you go. So we need to make sure that everything works perfectly. So what we need to do is that we need to make sure that the sand is not breaking anything in here. We also need to make sure that the, the sand can go all the way down. So, okay, so we can definitely make the sand fall further down. So we can just add text to this one right here. Two texts, see if it makes a difference. Okay, so as you saw, okay, that was maybe a little bit too much. So as you see, so let's go ahead and add one tick. Oops. There you go. It should be working now. So we need the sand to get as close to the trapdoor as possible. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, great. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and see if we can make this, uh, uh, what's it called, sand work out perfectly as well. The wet sand needs to work out. Okay, great. So it does look like we don't have the connection right here. There we go. Let's see if we can get it work now. I just missed this one right here. So now we should be one block below. There you go. Let's have a look. Perfect. As you see right there. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and make a quick scatter right here. We're going to do it as close to the... Uh, sorry, the uh, pistons right here because we want as far as away from the boosters. We have more time. Hey, 
the easiest way to make a big scatter is to just use four dispensers. So that's what we're going to do today. I might make a video explaining a bit more how we do the, the good stuff. It's very easy to do this. Um, it's not really hard. We're going to use two of these. Put this on a four. We're going to have a tick right there. And then we can have our system right here. Boom, 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 boom. And then we can move this one. So we can move that one out. And then we can just put ticks right here. Um, there we go. Not sure if this is going to work, but we'll see. TNT fill, fire the cannon, and then we should get a good stacker as well, if we're not mistaken. Okay, so it's not that big. We, we could definitely make that a lot bigger. So let's paste that in right there. Okay, so let's determine what went wrong right here. Um, we could move this one right here if that's a problem. Uh, no, we can't. That's not the problem. Uh, let's see how fast this actually is. Let me, let me try one more time. Just add a little bit more delay here to this one. Okay. Yeah, this one should work. Okay, so that's a pretty big scatter. That's like 40, 30 blocks. And we just need to make sure that nothing is getting stuck. No hammer is getting left behind. And no sad, like whatever, is getting left behind. Nope. Okay, great. So now we got an efficiency fusion. We got 120 stacker. We got, uh, let me let me just quickly count. Uh, the scatter is not really the important part. As long as it just scatters, we're fine. Uh, let's recount how much the scatter is on. Okay, so we got 36 box scatter, 35 box scatter, which is perfectly fine for now. But this is pretty much how you made yourself an efficiency fusion. Um, and of course, you can just add hammer if you wanted to. And you can also determine how much sand you want to get down by manipulating this one. You can move this one forward if you want more sand, and or you can move it back if you want less sand. Very simple. Other than that, guys, I think this will be the end of this video here. Hope that you guys learned a little bit, little bit about efficiency fusion, um, and hopefully you guys learned a little bit about wiring and stuff like that. This is pretty much the concept right here. Uh, but again, I want to thank you guys for watching this video here. If you enjoyed it and if it actually if it if I actually taught you something, go ahead and leave a like and remember to comment down below. And as always, remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter, and I'm out.